Now, today marks 63 years since the 69 protesters were killed by South African police, apartheid police, that is, outside a police station in Sharpeville, south of Johannesburg. The Sharpeville massacre is commemorated through Human Rights Day, which is today, which honors those whose lives were sacrificed in the fight for democracy. Now, Action Essays Herman Mashaba led a wreath laying ceremony in honor of the victims of the massacre earlier today. Let's take you live to Sharpeville now, where we find my colleague Ian Sia's Manwaba Mkunu. He is following that story for us and he joins us now live. Manwaba, how are things looking in terms of the official program uh, that is expected to take place there in Sharpeville? Well, Masik, I can certainly tell you that uh, the current number of activities that are taking place here uh, today, of course, organized by the various political parties as well as uh, the provincial government. In fact, I think there are three events uh, that are taking place here from the different uh, political parties. And earlier on, we saw uh, the replaying ceremony uh, in commemoration, of course, of this important day here in Sharpeville, which is uh, the Sharpeville uh, massacre that happened here on the 21st of March in 1960. And of course, it marks 63 years since that incident had occurred. And of course, uh, it's a day of reflection for South Africans uh, to really look at uh, the human rights that we have and the sacrifices that were made. But I'm going to bring in the leader of Action SA, Herman Mashaba, just to speak to us. Uh, of course, uh, Action SA is one of the parties that are here uh, today. But uh, doesn't it then becomes a problem when there are three different events, Mr. Mashaba, instead of one event. Uh, isn't this not an indictment on exactly what we're celebrating today? Well, I think uh, as South Africans, we must embrace our constitutional democracy. In a constitutional democracy, people have got a right uh, to exercise uh, their rights as they deem fit. For us as Section SAA, we are happy to uh, celebrate or commemorate the, this day with everybody else. But at the same time, as you can see, thousands of actioners coming across uh, all of Houting coming to commemorate this day with us, a day that uh, is actually filled of uh, mixed emotion, emotions of sadness, emotions of celebration, because uh, these are the people who gave their lives uh, for us uh, 63 years ago. Emotion of uh, total disappointment 29 years into our democracy. You look at the living standards of people of Shavvi, uh, uh, people of uh, Houting, people of South Africa, unfortunately, 29 years of uh, ANC government has really let us down. But we are saying to South Africans, let's shoulder on, let us respect our constitutional democracy. Come 2024, we've got to remove ANC out of government like we did in 1994, removing the National Party government that caused uh, the death of our people in 1960. Let's look at uh, the issue of human rights. Of course, uh, earlier on you said South Africa should be ashamed of itself. Uh, on what basis were you saying that? Just looking at the way that our human rights are observed, uh, are we appreciating as a country the human rights that we have uh, given, uh, you know, what is going on in the country? You know, if you, you look at what happened in nine, after the attainment of our democracy in 1994, two years later, a constitution was adopted, which was hailed by the world as the best constitution in the world, because uh, within that constitution, it enshrined uh, human rights. And this day in particular, named the Human Rights Day. But if you look at uh, the violation of human rights in this country, it's actually for me, the ANC government have got to really be ashamed of themselves. You look at um, the site where our fallen heroes and heroes are lying. It's actually a shame. It's an indictment of, of, of our government. You look at South Africa today. We are the murder capital of the world. More people are murdered in this country than countries at all. We are the rape capital of the world. We live in a country where our borders are wide open, allowing international criminal syndicates bring drugs into our country to destroy not only our youth, they destroy our communities. They bring counterfeits, expired goods, they destroy small businesses in, in our communities. And these are, all these things are happening in the eyes of the ANC government. And uh, you can imagine, including our own president who's involved in money laundering. How do we live in a society like this? So what we are saying, 
human rights should not really be something that's only in a constitution in paper. It must be something that South Africans can enjoy human rights. But right now, unfortunately, the constitutional framework, including the human rights, unfortunately, the majority of South Africans today, they live in hell. 12 million South Africans today are unemployed, particularly the youth. 74% of our youth are unemployed instead of actually enjoying the fruits of democracy. And in terms of Mr. Mashaba, just uh, looking at the families and uh, what's been done so far uh, in terms of the families, the, reputa uh, the reputations of the families, do you think that enough has been done for those families uh, for uh, losing their loved ones, uh, you know, for what they had gone through? Well, if you look at, honestly, let, let us be honest as South Africans, you look at what ANC government has done over the last 29 years. You know, I grew up under apartheid where we had migratory labor system that actually disrupted uh, our proper family structures. But I can tell you right now, I don't believe there's any South African, South African who can actually doubt to see the damage of the ANC in disrupting our families, particularly ANC leadership. They are, uh, they are toxic to family building in this country. What we need to do when we take, we remove ANC from government in 2024, we need to invest in social services so that we have social, uh, 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 social workers so that we can help rebuild our, our communities. But we rebuild our communities by making sure that we provide quality education. Let's build uh, schools here in, in, in uh, Shaville, in Soweto, in Haramut, Amanskral, where I was born and raised. I want uh, the, the kids who are, grew up in Amanskral. The kids here in Shaville, they must have the same school, like the same school, if it's a public school, like in Sentin. Today, the Tripartite Alliance with the SATU, they ensured that they, they destroyed the education of our youth. They made sure that through COSATU that our kids are not employed the, with the type of education that they're giving them. So, unfortunately, allowing drugs to come into this country, as I say, the drugs, they don't just really affect our youth. They destroy our entire families because once you've got a drug addict in your, in your home, what happens to the, uh, the family structures? And this uh, ANC government must take full responsibility for this uh, evil that is obviously plugging our society. Let me just ask you this question. What would you say to those that say you are hijacking this event? Uh, you know, some of the political parties who say they're the custodian of this event. Well, uh, I think... Uh, if I'm hijacking this for political reasons, our people died here. It was a political matter of our people in, in 19, on the 21st of uh, uh, March 1961. It was 1960. It was a political matter of our people. So this is not a mathematical issue. So the only way we're going to resolve this matter, we are going to resolve it politically. And if anyone thinks and is under impression that we are taking advantage of this political event, we are proud to use our politics to solve political problems. Thank you, Mr. Mashaba, for speaking to us. I appreciate it very much. Well, as you can hear, Mr. Herman Mashaba, who is the leader of uh, Action SA, just uh, saying uh, the importance uh, of this day to them as Action SA. Of course, many activities are still planned. They are continuing, and uh, there are various uh, activities that are taking place uh, from the different political parties. Mm, right. Uh, that's uh, ENCA reporter Mangabankunu live for us in Sharpville.